In the early 1980s, I was an anesthesiologist in the Cape Town environment. We were a partnership of 10 anesthesiologists, and I made a proposal to my partners that I will draw up a business plan to develop a two or three theater day surgery center with some consulting rooms. The business plan was drawn up and presented to my partners who, unfortunately, however, apart from one of them, all decided it was not a good road to travel on. For six months or about a year, I did nothing. And then suddenly I got an invitation from the chairman of the Remgro organization in those years. It was Dr. Anton Rupert, the father of Johan Rupert, to join the Remgro organization on a full-time basis and uh, started as a cigarette rep in January 1983. But after about six or seven months, the partner that also supported the day surgery center came to visit the investment director of Remgro and asked him why do they not support me to develop this surgery center that I proposed to the practice. Fortunately, the investment director decided it was a worthwhile proposal and I was authorized to develop one hospital of about 100 beds in the northern suburbs of Cape Town. That led to the building of the MediClinic Panorama, which fortunately was a real success. That led to the company growing by building and buying hospitals. In 1986, we went for a listing on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange at the price of one rand per share, and the company was uh, capitalized with 180 million rands, of which Remgro owned 50%. The companies that we bought in South Africa, Medicore, Hospiplan, Neomed, Hydromet, amongst others, all proved to be good additions to the growth of the company. And we grew rapidly. However, by the turn of the century, more or less, the Competition Commission in South Africa told us that we were getting a bit big. We were at about 25% market share, and they told us our growth in South Africa will become difficult. That's when we started to look around, how could we diversify our business geographically? We liked our core business and we wanted to stick with that. By the invitation of pathologists and radiologists who worked in our hospitals here in the Western Cape, we went to Dubai to look at opportunities there because these pathologists and radiologists were doing locums in Dubai and they recommended to us that we should also join them there. That led to the partnership with the Sunny Vaki group in Dubai, in the WellCare Hospital. And from that position on, we expanded in Dubai as well. The Hirs London group came about in about 2007, although that was our second effort at buying the Hirs London group. When BC Partners bought the group in about 2002, we were there as well. However, we just did not have deep enough pockets and we weren't courageous enough to uh, take such a quantum leap. However, my connection with the East London Group started already in 1988 when the Richemont Group was established in Switzerland and I, as a representative of our family, had to attend meetings and discussions there. It was in my free time that I then walked around in some of the Swiss hospitals and met Robert Bieder and his management team. And uh, I always thought that this was a, a jewel of a company which I would keep my eye on. After the acquisition of the East London Group, we of course bought the Al Noor Group and that led to the reverse listing on the London Stock Exchange. And through that transaction, we also acquired 29.9% of the Spire Group in the UK. I was very happy to retire at 20, in 2020 with a share price, with the delisting and privatization of the company, peaking at 118 rand per share in comparison to the one rand per share that it was listed in 1986 on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. This year we celebrate 40 years of uninterrupted success at MediClinic. During this time, MediClinic grew from one facility in South Africa to more than 100 facilities in five countries on three continents. 
Today, MediClinic is the leading brand in each of the markets we serve. MediClinic also developed a strong international reputation as a successful multinational healthcare operator that consistently provides high quality services and care. None of this would have been possible without the very special people at MediClinic. Our founder, Dr. Edwin Herzog, spent a relentless 37 years building and leading this wonderful business. We admire Dr. Herzog for his achievement and are very grateful for his tremendous contribution during this time. We also want to thank all our staff and supporting doctors as well as other stakeholders for their hard work, their loyalty, commitment and sacrifice in moving MediClinic forward every day. Our organization is built on a foundation of strengths and competencies that was developed over 40 years. This became clear very quickly during the COVID pandemic. We responded impressively and played an incredibly important role to meet the demands of the crisis. We cared for more than 80,000 COVID inpatients and emerged stronger than ever after the pandemic. We have a bright future ahead of us the healthcare landscape is undergoing significant change and the pace of change is accelerating. This presents numerous new opportunities for us and we are positioning ourselves to take advantage of many of these opportunities. We have a strong foundation of strengths and competencies, as I've said before. We have a solid strategy with good progress on execution. We are transforming the organization to be more creative, modern and agile. We have wonderful people and a great culture. And now, as a private organization with very supportive new owners, we are entering a whole new era of growth and prosperity. Thank you very much and well done to everybody that contributed to 40 years of uninterrupted success. And may the next 40 years be as successful 